Hey guys, it's T, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Miss Yvonne's pink hair. It looks like I put it in a ponytail or something like that because my hair tie is still in there. Yeah, this hair got really tangled, but I don't know. I feel like I had really nice things to say about this hair. Actually, So I bought this hair on, technically I bought it February 12th and then they shipped it February 13th because I wanted it for Valentine's Day, which is obviously February 14th. And so it did come on time. They do ship on time, although I was kind of worried because I bought a blue hair at the same time and the blue hair got shipped like a lot quicker than this one and I was kind of afraid that this one like wouldn't come on time, but it did come on time. And... So yeah, this is like a two month after, like, I don't know what you would call it, but like a two month review. I don't know. I like doing reviews on hair or I like seeing reviews on hair after they've been worn. Like, you know what I mean? So that way you know how, how well it holds and things like that. Like, it's one thing to do a review on a hair that's been worn already. And I've had this hair for two months now because today is march 18 and i got it february 13 so it's been two months i've worn it i haven't worn it every day um honestly i wore this hair like maybe five times max not because i didn't like it but because i don't know i just i'm not really like used to um colored hair yet like this was my first colored hair i wanted it spe like specifically for valentine's day and that was basically the only reason why I got it. But I love the hairline so much. That's another thing. Um, this wig is extremely big head friendly. Like, I'll show you guys. Extremely big head friendly. Like, I have a big head. And this is, like, crazy big. Extremely big. The hairline, I feel like the hairline is perfect. This is the best hairline that I've seen for a synthetic wig. The only thing that I had to do with this hair is, I barely even did my baby hair. Like I cut a couple pieces because I don't really do baby hairs that often, but I did cut it so that way it wasn't like all the way down to my neck, but. And then I colored the hairline. I don't think I plucked it. I didn't pluck it at all. But over here, if you can see like brown over here, that's because I accidentally got, um concealer on it when i was trying to put concealer on the hairline i got a little bit of concealer on like the hair and i was so scared that it was gonna fuck up the hair but i think it actually came out kind of nice like you know when people dye their hair and they accidentally like miss a little piece i feel like it kind of looks like i missed like a piece or something like when i was dyeing the hair like i don't know like i don't mind it that's basically the moral of the story um what else did i do with oh yeah Another thing that I did to the hair is I thinned it out because it's extremely thick, like extremely thick at the ends. So I did have to thin it out, but I thinned it out. I thinned it out with a razor, so that's kind of why it's like I don't know what you would call it, like a little bit frizzy because I did use a razor instead of a thinning scissor. Scissors. <laughs> what else? Um it's a really thick, like extremely thick. So I would advise that you kind of thin it out. Um, the density, we covered that. What else I need to talk about? The hairline was good. You can thin it out. Yeah. So with this hair. Look, I'm like 
like all the way to that side. But anyways, another reason. Mm, but then I'm like out of camera like view. I don't know if you can see me that well. Where are my glasses? So, this wig is obviously not glued down, but when I do glue it down, it looks really, really natural. I did not bleach it. That's another thing, too, because I don't know how to bleach hair. Um, does it tangle and does it shed? I honestly didn't really experience any, any shedding from this hair, but before I thinned it out, it did kind of tangle a little bit. Not too bad. Like, for most synthetic wigs, it really wasn't that bad. Um, after I thinned it out, it really doesn't tangle that often. It does get frizzy, so you do have to, like, carry a comb with you. But other than that, it doesn't tangle and it doesn't shed. So I feel like that's perfect for a synthetic wig that was only, like, $38, I believe. I don't know. I'll try to leave the link. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. And I obviously did already cut the lace and everything like that because this hair, like I said, is two months old. Oh, yeah. Let me show you guys what the ends look like because that's important. This is what the ends look like after two months. And I do have to say that I don't um package my hair like correctly. Like I know you're supposed to like leave it in like one direction, I guess. I don't know. Something like that. But I don't do that. Like, I kind of just throw my hair in a bag. I have a bag full of wigs, and I just throw my wigs in there. Like, I don't really take care of my wigs like that. So, yeah. But I feel like it still did hold up, kind of. Um, after two months, and it needs to be cleaned because there's a lot of products on the edges. You guys can probably see that, but there's, like, a lot of hair, like edge products on the edges and things like that so it's kind of like stiff on the edges but i love this hair and i definitely think it's worth the price it was only 38 dollars, and it was definitely worth the price definitely definitely I already took off the wig, but I forgot to mention that it came with lashes. No, no, no. I don't think it came with lashes. I think that was the blue hair. But it came with a wig cap. For sure, for sure, it came with a wig cap. I'm not sure which one came with the lashes, though. One of them came with, like, really cheap lashes. Like, really cheap, ugly lashes. First things first, let me get that introduction. Let me get this drip. Because I had no idea.